Hello everyone. This is Siddesh Kumar Utki, working as assistant professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So today we'll be discussing about value education. Learning outcomes. At the end of this video lecture, students will be able to explain the need of value education. He'll be able to explain about guidelines of for which are required for value education. The following contents will be discussed in this particular video lecture. Value education or the value, the need for value education, guidelines for value education, content of value education, process of value education. Value. The value of an entity is its participation in the larger order of which it is a part. For example, a piece of chalk is a unit and classroom is the larger order. The value of chalk is that it can be used to write on the blackboard. The participation in the larger order is also its role in the larger order. Then what is the value of human being? This question implies what is the participation of a human being in the bigger order? For example, if your participation in the process of education is to understand what is being taught, your value is to make effort to understand. The value of a human being is its natural or expected participation in the larger order at the level of individual, at the level of family, at the level of society and ultimately at the level of nature or existence. The part of education that deals with the understanding of one's participation in the larger order and thus ensuring it in the living is called as value education. It will serve to fulfill the basic aspiration of the human being that is the life of fulfillment. Need for value education. Correct identification of our goals. Value education helps us to identify our goals appropriately it will help to develop the basis for you to decide your goals by yourself and not under the influence of others. Just think that if your goal is also not your own but borrowed from others, will its achievement be fulfilling to you? Hence, it is important that at this stage of your life, you are able to correctly make out your goals with confidence. Development of a Holistic Perspective the outcome of value education is a holistic perspective with the clarity about human being, about the nature or existence of which we are an integral part as well as our participation in this nature or existence. This participation is our role, it is our purpose, it is our right, it is our responsibility and it is our value. In terms of day to day living, it means that we are able to see our role with respect to ourselves with respect to the family, with respect to the society and with respect to nature or existence. In the light of the holistic perspective, we can understand that the nature or the existence is in harmony and there is a relationship among all the units of nature, including human beings. We can now perceive that the harmony, the relationship is the running thread across all that exists across all the units in nature from a single atom to the whole cosmos. Clarity of program to live with holistic perspective. We are all faced with many questions regarding our program of living such as what thoughts are naturally acceptable to me with which I would like to continue? What food will keep my food uh, body healthy? Which clothes will fulfill the need of my body better? What behavior with my friends will sustain our relationship? How can I be a help to the other in my family? How can I participate in the college or neighborhood or the society at large so that there is mutual fulfillment? What my role can be in maintaining the harmony of life or the harmony of the environment which includes trees, air, water etc. We all have such concerns and keep struggling with confusion about all these aspects and the notions vary from person to person. Value education provides us the vision which will help us to get answers to all these questions. Evaluation of our beliefs. 
Our conduct depends on what we understand or believe about ourselves, our family, society and the nature around. Value education also helps us to become aware of our own beliefs. Much of our behavior or the working is based on beliefs about which we are ourselves quite unaware of. This somehow become the guiding factors of the decisions of our life. Hence it is important to evaluate our own beliefs sincerely. For example, if we believe that earning money is the ultimate goal of life and sensual pleasures are the only source of happiness, we make effort for accumulating money and indulging in sensual pleasures as much as possible. One of these beliefs could be that the very design of nature is such that there is struggle for survival and the survival of the fittest and the human beings have to struggle their way through life. With this belief, invariably, we think in terms of competition instead of cooperation with human beings. We may even think of domination which may ultimately lead to fighting and even war. We may think in terms of accumulating more and more physical facility. For this, we think of exploitation and mastery over rest of nature instead of ensuring mutual enrichment. This may ultimately lead to resource depletion and environment pollution. Solution of existing problems If we understand our participation and live by them in the complete expense of our being, it will lead to a fulfilling life for ourselves and fulfilling all around. The problems including wrong beliefs mainly because we do not have understanding and we are not making enough effort for it. Once we have a holistic perspective and the clarity of the program to live by it, we are able to realize that most of the existing problems are actually symptoms and consequences of our wrong beliefs. Then in due course of time, we will be able to root them out, not only at the personal level but also at the family level, in our workplace, at societal level and in our interaction with the rest of nature. With right understanding of things, we are better able to define our role in different phases of life and work accordingly. One thing that happens with such inputs is that we do not create problems for ourselves or others. Secondly, we are able to resolve the existing problems at different levels of our being or living. And thirdly, we are able to lay down a program, whatever be with the scale, which does ensure fulfillment for all. Thus, we are able to participate in the collective fulfillment of the society around. Development of Ethical Competence Ethics is the expression of definite human conduct in one's behavior, work or participation in the larger order. It is easy to appreciate that the core purpose of value education is to develop ethical competence among human beings which will reflect in all their pursuits. Guidelines for Value Education Universal. Whatever we study as the value, education has to be universally applicable to all human beings and be true at all times and places. This implies that it should not change depending on sector, creed, nationality and gender etc. It has to deal with universal human values. For example, the feeling of respect in relationship. Rational. It has to be amenable to reasoning and not based on dogmas or blind beliefs. Natural and verifiable. Being natural means it has to be acceptable in a natural manner. When we live on the basis of such values that are natural to us, it leads to mutual fulfillment. It leads to our happiness and it is also conducive to the happiness of other people we interact with as well as enriching for other units in the nature. We also want to verify these values ourselves that is we don't want to assume something just because it is being stated here. Rather each one of us wants to verify this to find out whether they are true for us. This can be done by both checking for validity within ourselves as well as something which can implement in our living and observe its outcome. All encompassing. The content of value education has to cover all dimensions of our being as well as all levels of our living. Leading to harmony. Finally, value education has to enable us to be in harmony with within and in harmony with others. Content of value education. We have seen that the value of a human being is the participation of the human being in the larger order. Hence to understand human values, we need to study human being along with all that is there in the existence. The role of human being 
is the relationship with each and every unit in the existence. That means the scope of the study has to be all encompassing. That is, it should cover all dimensions of the human being. It should cover all levels of the human being. The different dimensions of human being will be thought, behavior, work and realization and all levels of human being that is your individual, family, society, nature and existence. Process of value education. Human values can be understood by an appropriate process of self-discovery because they are potentially there in each and every human being. There is already a natural acceptance for values in a human being. It is only that we have to discover them or become aware of them. For example, if you are asked what is naturally acceptable to you, the feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition with other members of your family, just observe within for the answer. The natural response is the feeling of relationship. This feeling of relationship is a value for us. In this discussion, this feeling was not created in you. You already had the acceptance for it. It was only uncovered by drawing your attention within, though the question for exploration. Hence, to study human values, the process has to be such that it develops a process of self-exploration in you. Taking every statement as a proposal, you are able to investigate the reality by yourself. Following are the references. Thank you.